Green Bay is on the clock with 288 days until the start of the 2025 NFL Draft. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 10 tonight. During Draft Week in Green Bay, Green Bay will be looking to showcase its unique atmosphere while on the national stage. Music, vendors and even fireworks are on the docket in downtown Green Bay. Fox 11's Josh Cavender has our story. The downtown business improvement districts are partnering with the city of Green Bay to host events during draft week. There is so much excitement throughout our community and in the region about the NFL draft coming up in April. And we have so many outstanding partners uh, and we just feel that now is the time to announce that uh, the downtown districts uh, along with uh, other partners are, are all in and helping to roll out the red carpet for uh, the thousands of guests. Jeff Merkis, executive director for Downtown Green Bay Incorporated, hopes these events highlight the diverse culture of the city of Green Bay. We have already proven over the years that downtown is where the character and the community lies. And we really want to make sure that we're showcasing what a great community Green Bay, Wisconsin is. Merkis also told Fox 11 that parking is an important factor in their planning. Uh, we did some calculations recently and there are 5,000 parking spaces. Uh, this is a distance only three miles away from really the heart of the action. So along with very good quality parking, uh, we are encouraging an express bus from downtown to Titletown. Events are in the early planning stages, but the goal is to immerse visitors in the culture and lifestyle of Green Bay. One planned event to do just that is the Booyah Battle. Local nonprofits will team up with local chefs to battle it out to see who can make the best Booyah. We love bringing in live music. We love bringing in um, arts and culture and, and, and just the vibe of downtown Green Bay. And so I think um, people can definitely expect that, but also expect a little bit of that good old Wisconsin, good old Green Bay hometown twist. Mary Rohde says local businesses have been at the heart of their plans for events. Um, obviously, small businesses are at the heart of, our, of both of our districts, and we're very passionate about them. We're passionate about supporting them. In Green Bay, Josh Cavender, Fox 11 News. Green Bay is on the clock, and Fox 11 has all of your 2025 NFL draft coverage. Just scan the QR code you see on your screen. That'll take you directly to the 2025 NFL draft section on our website, where you can check out all of our draft coverage leading up to the big event. Okay, so uh, what is On Broadway's involvement with these activities that are going to be happening during the draft? Yeah, so a draft, uh, an event like the NFL draft coming to Green Bay, once in a lifetime, it truly uh, takes all hands. And so there was no better way to approach uh, something like this and, and the idea of doing events uh, in the downtown corridor than partnership. And so we, we often, uh, on Broadway, often partners with downtown Green Bay, uh, even though we're just across the river from each other, we do often part partner up for different things. And this was just another prime opportunity to come together as organizations, involve the city of Green Bay, involve the Green Bay Parks Department, and really come up with something that is going to be a draw um, and, and uh, a, a plethora of activities for people to enjoy during draft week. And what are some of the other things that you've collaborated with downtown Green Bay on? Oh, goodness. Um, I mean, Fire Over the Fox is a great example. I mean, uh, certainly on Broadway does a lot of the heavy lift for that event, but just being able to have access to the city deck um, and, and that east side of the river for that event where that brings you know, 40, 50,000 people to, to downtown Green Bay. Um, it's, it's, it's just one of the, one of the examples. There's, there are some other um, places too and, and areas of, of our organizations that we do uh, partner up on, um, certainly both being nonprofits that, that benefits both of us. And would you be able to tell us about these events? I know Jeff gave us a little <laughs> bit of a preview, but if you could tell us a little bit uh, about the events that were mentioned. Yeah, there are so many more details to be finalized and many more events to be announced, which we are excited to do in the coming months here. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, again, it's an all hands on deck effort. Um, we've had many, many meetings uh, as a committee, as a planning committee um, over the last several months to even prepare to announce what we have today. So there's, there's a lot of things involved. There's a lot of um, communication happening between us and the Packers and us and Discover Green Bay too to let them know uh, that we do have plans to activate downtown. Um, the mayor has been very vocal about his um, his desire to activate downtown and, and truly welcome everyone to the city of Green Bay. Right, it's the Green Bay Packers. So, uh, so we are really just following uh, following those orders and coming together. Uh, we're excited that there'll be some fireworks 
Uh, so stay tuned for, for what those fireworks will be a part of. Um, but in addition to that, I think it's, it's what you would expect from downtown Green Bay and on Broadway. We do, when we do events, we do them well and we do them loud, right? We love bringing in live music. We love bringing in um, arts and culture and, and, and just the vibe of downtown Green Bay. And so I think um, people can definitely expect that, but also expect a little bit of that good old Wisconsin, good old Green Bay hometown twist uh, to some of our events that people have from near and far have come to love Green Bay and love this community for. We're definitely going to be weaving in a lot of that into our events as well. And how are you hoping for these events to kind of boost up like the community of downtown Green Bay? I know the, the draft itself is taking place over by the stadium, but how are you hoping that this brings more people to the downtown area. Yeah, we know between the parking spaces, um, the hotel occupancy um, or hotel availability here in downtown, some of the Airbnbs uh, that, that exist here in downtown, we know there will be a lot of people um, staying and, uh, and and playing here in downtown. And so we really want to capitalize on that. But also, you know, we're, we're cognizant that there's kind of two different audience buckets here. There's, um, you know, there's, there's the locals that have decided to stick around and maybe they'll head over to the draft campus. Maybe they'll um, uh, explore other areas of the city, but then there's obviously the visitors, right? Um, 250,000 people uh, is the number that is consistently talked about of people that will be coming to the draft. And so we've been um, very aware of trying to activate and choose the events that we're doing during those off-peak draft times. So we, we again, in conversation and, and communication with the Packers um, and Discover Green Bay, we've been told when those really key draft events are going to be. And so we're trying to find things for people to do um, during the day and during those times where they may not be able to get on the draft campus um, or there aren't those big events happening. So really, um, again, just bringing that Wisconsin hospitality uh, and, and offering things for people of all ages to enjoy uh, during the length of their stay here in Green Bay. And so for local businesses from downtown uh, Green Bay, how would this kind of affect them. Yeah, in everything that we're doing, every conversation we've had about the different types of events that we're doing um, on either side of the river, we're talking about how we can involve those businesses. Um, obviously, small businesses are at the heart of, our, of both of our districts, and we're very passionate about them. We're passionate about supporting them. Uh, and so that is a, hard, a huge part of the conversation. Um, individually, our organizations have had owner of uh, meetings with business owners to hear directly from them. What do they want us to do as a downtown uh, collaborative effort? What would they like to see happen? Uh, what promotions do they maybe have planned already or are planning or thinking about doing that we can help promote for them to that draft audience? Uh, so those are all very active conversations, um, conversations that are continuing. Uh, we have additional meetings planned with individually with our business owners to keep them engaged in the conversation, get them excited, get them the information that they need, um, but also then again, just figure out how we can support them um, to get them uh, the same eyeballs and foot traffic that we're hoping to get here in downtown. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about this initiative for downtown for the draft? There is so much excitement throughout our community and in the region about the NFL draft coming up in April. And we have so many outstanding partners uh, and we just feel that now is the time to announce that the downtown districts uh, along with uh, other partners are, are all in and helping to roll out the red carpet for uh, the thousands of guests who are going to be coming from all over the world to Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I've heard a little bit about how they're around like 5,000 parking spots in downtown and there would be shuttles going up to the stadium district to do that. Can you explain a little bit? Yeah, we're, we're very pleased that we have good quality infrastructure in the heart of the downtown. Uh, we did some calculations recently and there are 5,000 parking spaces. Uh, this is a distance only three miles away from really the heart of the action. So along with very good quality parking, uh, we are encouraging an express bus from downtown to Titletown. Uh, you know, a lot of those measures are, are currently being discussed by, you know, the, the event planners. Uh, however, while parking is, uh, you know, a key component and uh, we want it to be convenient, uh, there is so much more happening in the downtown districts. And we have already proven over the years that downtown is where the character in the community lies. And we really want to make sure that we're showcasing what a great community Green Bay, Wisconsin is. And, uh, you know, so we're going to have plenty of ways to, uh, for our guests to experience that. 
you know, part of that is in programming fun, unique events that help define us as a community. So those are in the planning process. While we don't have all the exact details, we know that, uh, you know, what, what some of those ingredients are. Uh, the Broadway District and the Downtown District have years of experience putting on good events. And uh, while April programming is not extremely common, uh, we will be geared up with, uh, you know, to highlight a, a lot of those functions that, that, that take place throughout the year. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about how maybe this downtown programming that's happening during draft week uh, could be, um, af not affecting, but kind of boosting companies around the downtown area during the draft? Downtown has a lot of shops, pubs, and cafes. Restaurants and hospitality is very popular. We also know that uh, there, there will be a lot of people uh, finding hotels in the downtown area. Uh, in, in addition to guests from all over the country, we know that our local population. So we're doing this not only for people from across the country, but also from across town. Schools will be closed. Families will be engaged with activities. So we will be putting on plenty of reasons to come and explore some of the fun activities we have planned in the downtown districts. And can you say, um, to the extent that you know right now, what, what some of the events are? So we're talking about a street event, a booya bash, being able to feature brats and booya and beers on the streets, uh, some type of a street festival. Uh, we're not, uh, you know, obviously we have time to shore up those details and locations, but we want to feature some of the mainstays uh, of our community, and, you know, uh, you know th those are a few. Uh, you know, we're, we want to really do our programming at times that more people might be available and uh, during some of the non-draft speci specific times. But there are some, you know, good gaps of activity uh, during the draft week uh, that we are going to be enticing people to come downtown and have some real fun in the, in the heart of uh, Green Bay City Center.